Professor Ishak Agintola is always controversial. Hear what he has to say. An Islamic human rights organization, the Muslim Rights Concern, Murik, has strongly warned the Southwest security outfit Amotekun to leave the Fulani alone and stop endangering the lives of Yoruba people living in the north and other regions of the country. Murik said that Amotekun must focus his attention on attacks on the people of Ileife by talk sponsored illegal miners and not on Fulani Hesme. Murik, however, commended Amotekun for its alertness, but taxed it on professionalism and detribalized security consciousness. The organization also cautioned Amotekun against sensationalism in a statement signed by its director, Professor Ishak Akitola, and made available to Daily Post on Friday morning. The Islamic Human Rights Group was reacting to the reported arrest of bandits who tried to enter Oshun State by the Amotekun Corps. According to Murik, we commend Amotekun operatives for being alert, but they must always use the right description. For those apprehended, those suspects should not have been described as bandits. They did not have to be linked with the banditry going on in the north. Amoteko must be professional and totally detribalized if it wants to achieve the desired results. A lot of holes can be picked from the story of the so-called bandits arrested by Amoteko. Those suspects were probably thugs imported from Lagos, not bandits as reported. The media quoted the commandments, commandant of Amoteku himself saying that they were from Lagos State going to Itagumodi mining sites in Atakumosa West local government area of Oshun State. We all know what has been happening in the illegal mining sites in the state of Oshun. Thuggery and hooliganism reigns supreme as innocent residents are hounded while their homes are bombarded by flying missiles as a result of explosions at the mines. This is the situation in Ileife as we speak. The city's reign is restless and the security situation has been compounded by the fact that powerful people in the town are behind the illegal mining and the persecution of the Ileife people. In fact, a video clip possession of Murik shows the near demolition of one Mr. Shegun Awo Folaren's house at Ashari Legon, Ileife, caused by heavy stones which landed on the roof of on the roof and penetrated the bedroom. Several others, other heavy stones landed like scored missiles on the baby's court, the bathroom, and the entire compound. This incident occurred on Tuesday, 2nd June 2020. The family was lucky to escape on hot because they did not sleep at home on that day. Several petitions have been sent by the people of Ilefe to the state government, accusing fingers have been pointed at imported talks being used by powerful people sponsoring the miners to intimidate the residents. It was some of these talks who were being transported to the mining site to harass the people of Ilefe that the Amoteku men intercepted, not bandits. The crisis dates back or two or three years. Murik appeals to the state government to use Amotekun boys in rescuing the Ife people from the hands of heartless businessmen who are bent on making life miserable for the poor masses in Ile Ife. This should be focus of Amotekun. This should be the focus of Amotekun, not imaginary bandits and hesme. Ile Ife is the cradle of Yoruba land. The town is therefore central of to the success or failure attributed to Amotekun. We need Amotekun to combat internal security challenges and the situation in Ileife is getting out of hand. Charity begins at home. If a people are being chased out of their homes, the same way bandits are chasing innocent people out of their homes in Kastina, Niger and some other northern states, the police is reportedly handicapped. This challenge must go to Amotekun since the letter was established to, complete, to complement police operations. It is however disturbing that the first report of arrest did not mention any weapons. It only said assorted types of charms were recovered from two of the suspected bandits. Something is wrong if all 18 people in a bus 
are branded bandits when ordinary charms were found on only two of them. It was the second report which came 24 hours later that made reference to multifarious matches, cutlasses, shovels, and assorted charms. Even a five-year-old child knows that matches and cutlasses are one of the same thing. So why duplicate it? This is an exercise in hyperbole. As shovels also weapons, it is well known that laborers move around with the tools of their work and the unskilled labor from the north carrying their tools around is, around is a common sight in the south. Must we victimize poor laborers? When did we stop being our brother's keepers? Amotekun is manifesting there the certification of professionalism plus a pitiable passion of stigmatization. Hmm. <laughs> this man said a lot of things here. I don't even think I would want to go uh, into all of this. Uh, before we even continue, I don't know when has this man become. You see the lawyer. I don't know what's he there. I don't understand. If at all maybe Amotekun did wrong or maybe they were wrong in their arrest and what have you. It is in, now the, 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 what is it called, the, the job of the police to take it further because their job is to compliment the police people. Then by the time they hand them over, because I learned that they hand them over to the police, so let the police do their investigation as if police come out with any investigation or any report or findings that would now make a Murik be so, so, suggesting or be staying, a, making a categorical statement that they should not brand them as a SME, that they should leave them so that it will not affect the Yorubas living in the north. I don't know. Is it because, uh, I don't know, maybe it is out of fear that is making him to make such statements. How did he know? Are you part of the people? Were you there? Are you the people that, that they were arrested? The people that were arrested, they will have their day in court. They will explain themselves. Why are you explaining? Have they come to explain to you? I don't just understand why this man is like this. He never even made mention what of the, the bandits. Okay, the bandits that are being, uh, that are operating in the north, they went to, we know what has been happening in the state of the uh, president. Why has Murik not said anything? Did they import those people from Lagos or from anywhere? All the bandits that have been, that have been troubling the old north. Why is this man not talking about them? Are you, I don't know whether he's trying to uh, garner favor from them. Because I don't know. The people that arrested them, their work is to complement the job of the police. And they have handed the people they arrested to the police. Let the police do their investigation. I don't know why he's speaking on their behalf. I don't know whether they appointed him or they hired him as a lawyer. That is just making a categorical statement and saying that uh, uh, they didn't do their job where they are trying to... Uh, they are not, try they are not uh, being professional in what they are doing. I don't understand. Someone says here that uh, I said it's time with that number that this professor is a Fulani agent in Yoruba land, but nobody believed me. Are the Yoruba in the north attacking, killing, and raping women in the north the way Fulani Esme are doing all over the country? Another says Akitola is working for the Fulanis. Ah, so Yoruba have, bet have betrayers among, just, among them just like Igbos. See these bygots attaching religion to this utterance. Trans Fulani took house to people's farm and destroyed it. The cows were arrested. Owners will pay compensation and collect their cows. I hate this man with passion. That's what somebody is saying here. Another says that the Fulani should go to north where cattle rearing is a trade of the Fulani. Why disturbing the southerners from farming on their own land using guns to threaten them? This one says, This man is Omali. Yoruba should do something about this man. He's a big traitor to any Yoruba cause and he's a big Fulani sympathizers. sympathizer. This is Ri Omo Ali, child of Yoruba. This guy must be a terrorist to rent, for rent. Hmm. Nobody should listen to this sellout. He's a slave to Fulani. This man looks like um, Oshomole. They always reason the same way. Are you saying the Yoruba should stand still? why they are being slaughtered which state is this man from gone something i think he lauren okay so they should continue killing our people and destroy their farms it can be torn of any family you are not a true yoruba man you are one of those who are selling yoruba because of position or religion professor i think you should have advised the also uh, the they also look at the talks at the than asking them to leave the 
killers alone. Anyway, academic achievements and wisdom are different. One can read to become a professor even in dancing, but it is only God that gives wisdom. So guys, let us hear your opinion concerning what uh, this uh, man has said, that he should leave uh, Fulani alone, leave them alone, because so that they will not endanger the lives of uh, Yorubas in the north. What do you think? Let's have your take in the comment section. Thank you.